Hey guys, good afternoon. It's Monday, December, I think it's the 14th. Um, it is four o'clock in the afternoon. I'm coming to you live from Maysville. Just took Mima to the doctor this afternoon. So we've stopped here um, in a church parking lot in Maysville so that we could have our Advent lesson for today. So I hope you've had a great day at school. For those of you that had exams today, you're almost done, so hang in there. Um, and for those of you elementary kids, you're almost done done with school until Christmas. So hang in there, make the best of it, shine bright for Jesus every day. So our advent card for today, you see this? This is coming from our Kids Read Truth advent conversation cards. Again, you can find them on their website if you want your own copy. But today's passage is from Luke chapter one, verses 31 to 32. And it says, turn on your listening ears, here we go. Now listen, you will conceive and give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. So now, what did the angel say that the baby's name would be? I just read it to you. You will call him what? Jesus, that's right. And... Here's our other question. Whose throne would Jesus receive? Well, if you remember back on day three, it talked about from the Old Testament, a promise being fulfilled. And that would be from the family of King, who knows? That's right, King David, good job. And then our question number three says, this verse says Jesus will be called the Son of God, the Most High. Think for a minute, how do you think Mary felt when she first learned that her baby was going to be called the Son of God, the Most High. Can you imagine all the feelings that she was having? Pretty scared, pretty excited, blessed, chosen. I can think of lots of feelings that she might have had. So that's what I want you to talk about tonight. You as your family, I want you to talk about the passage Luke 1, 26 to 33, with our main focus verse being Luke 1, 31 to 32, which is what I just read you. And here is your activity for today. So for those of you just joining us, we've talked about doing an activity, a jar, to put an activity in every day so that next year at Christmas, you can look back at this year and see what was on your heart, what were you thinking about. Here's what I want you to do for today. I want you to go look in the mirror and I want you to make some facial expressions of all the things you think Mary might have felt. And then I want you to draw them on a piece of paper and put them in your jar, okay? So all the, all the feelings, all the expressions that she might have had on her face as she's realizing she's gonna carry Jesus, baby Jesus, she's gonna be his mom. God has chosen her. Think about all the things she was feeling because Jesus was born to Mary a long time ago to be our Savior. She was chosen by God to carry that sweet baby, a baby like no other. So think about those things today. I love you guys. I'll be back here tomorrow afternoon for day number 15. We're getting close. I love you guys. Have a great day. Merry Christmas.